We acknowledge the traditional owners of this country of Canberra, the Ngunnawal people on Ngambri land. We acknowledge Her Royal Highness Princess Latu Fuipeka Tuku'aho, who is the Tongan High Commissioner here in Australia and currently residing here in Canberra. We acknowledge and welcome all of you here today to this program known as Women in Dialogue from the Lo'au University Multimedia Programs and of course today on this um, rather uh, wet and damp Tuesday afternoon I have the coordinator of the Women in Dialogue program Luisa Maileila Dukefu who's here to bring you that program and also myself Luciane Tuita Nakao Lafitani. I sh without further ado I will hand over the reins to Luisa. Malo. Marlo, thank you, Luciana, for that beautiful greeting and introduction for our Women in Dialogue program this afternoon. And it's always a pleasure to be on air again from our Loa's studio here at Maananga, right in the heart of Canberra, mm. the national capital of Australia. And Luciana, last month, if you remember, in August, we talked about safety with medications, both prescribed medications and over-the-counter ones, including vitamins and herbal supplements. Yeah, and I just want to sort of recap a few things, because it seems to be uh, like all this dialogue about uh, medications, you know, being careful and all that sort of thing, you know, have been coming out, you know, from all sorts of um, media. Um, mm outlet so I thought you know just recapping that and of course one of the recommendations to reduce medication errors and harm in the use of um, of you know medications are the five rights remember <laughs> the right patient <laughs> the right drug and we were saying last time that you always have to check you know when you're at the pharmacies and then they sing out your name you always sort of check that it's the right one and it's the right drug that you're getting. And also just remembering the right dose and the right uh, route, like whether it's oral or whether it's, um, mm. um, you know, intramuscular injections or anything like that. And That's the right time, yeah, it, there is, it is, yeah. The route, how to take it. That's right, mm. yeah. And also the right time, because they do advise you to sort of take your tablets, your daily medications at the same time every day. Are you talking to yeah. me? <laughs> <laughs> to us, I'm talking to us. Maybe I'm talking, I'm just sort of saying that because it doesn't know always, but as long as we're closed around it. Yes, yeah. well, you, it's good that you're talking about that, Louisa, because I am one of those people. <laughs> and we also sort of mentioned like how important it is that you always make sure that you understand why are you taking these medications, mm. you know, and how to take it, how to store it, because some medications needs to go in a certain sort of temperature yes. and others, you know, it's like, but they do sort of, um, they're pretty good at the um, pharmacists because they always remind you. They do. Yeah, of what to do. It's just people like me who forget and leave medication in the sun for an hour before realizing. <laughs> yeah. And also, like, what to do if you have an unexpected sort of side effect. Mm. It's always about discussing it with your GP and your pharmacist. And then last time we, we sort of um, just raised the awareness about, you know, getting rid of any out-of-date medications that they would have in the house, not to have it lying around in the fridge or anywhere. That's a really yeah. important point, Louisa, because, I mean, myself also, sometimes I forget to check. And my kids are good at coming in, they'll check things and, you know, I mean, yes. even in my fridge, 
you know, the cheese or whatever it is, but it is eh, that out of date. That's right. Yes. Mm. Because I think there's so many people and um, they're talking about people sort of attending like um, emergencies, you know, mm. um, and outpatient. Um, yes, for, because for, of that. for misuse of medications oh. and, and either they forget or oh. if they change the, the name, the brand name or generic or anything yes. like that. It's true. You know, they, so. The old, especially the older people, you know. Yes, I was and just about to, yeah. to say that I reckon it's that demographic, that age group of yeah. 50 up, hey? But even, not everybody's familiar with yeah. brand names and generic mm. ones, you know. Mm. And sometimes the pharmacies have their own. Yes. yes. So it's about yes. getting rid of any out-of-date um, medications. And I guess those, if you're not yeah. sure, you just take it up to your pharmacist and say, could you have a look at this and tell me if it's, I can't remember what I take this for. Yeah. You know, they're it. very good. And they're really good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And also any pharmacist can sort of dispose of any out of date mm. yeah, medications. Mm. I think that's the safest thing, mm. that you take it up to them. And somebody was doing a little scenario, sort of saying that, you know, they, they didn't get rid of their medications out of date. And then, you know, you suddenly sort of you're doing your gardening and then you get this little pain, you know, yes. I think then you run in and then you remember, oh, you didn't get rid of it, um, you know, pain control mm. medications that you got. Yes. And even if it, you never check out of date, you just mm. know that that's what it is for. And yes. sometimes, you know, they'll take it. And then, of course, after an hour later, you would be having a glass of mm. wine or something like that. So it's it's really risky. I was also thinking to it, not just your medication, but over the counter, you know, like Panadols and yeah. vitamins. Sometimes we forget to check, you know, is there just a date? Yeah, that is such a good point, the date, out of date, because things can sit in your medicine cupboard, you know, and you don't think to check. You just take it out when you need mm. a Panadol, but they also are, can be out of date your you know your your well, that's right um, yeah little things, things like that, that. Yeah. especially yes. for mumps you know you oh, always have your little first aid yes stuff that yes. you use for the grandkids when that's they right. come that's yeah right. but like you say lucy sometimes we forget to check those it's amazing what yeah. what can go out of date yes you know it can be anything can be out of date so i think it's a good it's a good reminder mm. louisa mm. Check. and also being mindful that you always have to let your doctor know, your family doctor know, those, you know, vitamins, extra vitamins and mm. herbal, yeah. um, you know, stuff yeah. that you get. Because sometimes they can interact with your, yeah. with your daily medications. It can. Yeah. yeah, it can disturb however way it's supposed to be working. Yeah. Yeah. So That's it's always true. about being careful. Mm. Yeah. You can't be too careful, can you? Yeah, so, mm. so and, and like what we were saying, any of the pharmacies can get rid of those out-of-date yeah. uh, medications for you. And I think it's a lot safer that way. Because I was just thinking, um, there was some new medication that I had. And <clears throat> what she did, what my pharmacist did, was she checked on all the things that I was taking to make sure that it wasn't going to be you know, yeah. directly clashing. <laughs> clashing. And she says, I'll just have a look at what you're taking. And she had a look and she said, no, it should be fine. Mm. But that's important stuff, isn't yeah, it? It is. Mm. Yeah, because you think, because it's natural, it's herbal, it's yeah. all that, that it's quite safe. Mm. But they say it's not always safe. But yeah. how about our, you know, because I know in our Tong community, we take a lot of you know, of um, why this and why that and whatever. Yes. Do you think that has any? I think you know, know, some of on... them are pretty strong. Hmm. And a lot of the. Um, I've got so how do we check? A lot of friends. Well, mm. I think your GP and the pharmacies are the best people. You know mm. to do because so they'll say what is in it, mm. and do we know what some of those things have? Oh, you so just liquid. try and remember the yeah. tree. The tree. <laughs> oh, it's a guava tree and a mango. Yeah, it's the it's bark mango of the leaves. Tree that yes. they, and usually by the time you come around with your explanations, they yes. sort of have an idea what yes. it is. Yeah. Because they do, I mean, they do have lots of different teas now. Yeah. 
you know, mango bark and mango leaves. So I yeah. guess our... And you think it's safe because it's yes. natural, but it's, yeah. that's what they say. Might it's not, not be. always, yeah. it's, but it's always... And also it's about, you know, not to stop taking your medications without discussing it with your doctor. Yes. I think... Yeah. I think that's a really good point, Louisa, and I'm glad you brought that up because I know, even family, you know, they, they say, oh, I, I started to feel better, so I stopped, yeah. you know, or someone told me that if I take this and I drink that, then I don't need to do my um, metformin or to take my, and I, I you are, you're shocked, yeah. I am shocked, I think, <gasps> please don't do that, can you please go and talk to your GP before That's you do right. that? Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's quite tempting because yeah. you, th you you think you know your body better than anybody yes. else, you know. And, and so like saying for prescribed medications doesn't help, always bring it to the attention of, you know, you, they put you on medications. Yes. But, but you know, because we do, you know, like I'll hear someone saying, oh, um, Louisa was saying that she takes this, you know, mango leaf tea <laughs> and it's brought her, you know, yeah. glucose level down. So I it works for, it work for me. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. I'll get some mango leaf tea and, and try that. And it's all it's good to try, but but please check. Yeah. You know? Please check. I think it's about mm. the combination of, of all those. Mm. Yeah. Yes. I think that's what I heard them say. <laughs> yes. And also, like, if, you, if you're if one of those, I think we mentioned this last time, if you're somebody who sort of very often sort of forget to take your medications, then you're better off using a dose box. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sure. Do you remember? It, yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, just a little bit of uh, studio noise there. Yeah. Right. 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 But the, you're right, Louisa. Hey, when you when you think about stuff like that, it you know because we do we, you know I mean even though you talk a lot about it, I still can go off in my little wisdom yeah. thinking that I know better. But exactly, mm. I think we all do that. Mm. You know, I think oh he told me not to take oh, that, well. but I think I really need that Eww. one. Yeah, yeah. And, and plus you teach people, especially mothers, because you know your body better than anybody because right. your doctor your family doctor can sort of um you know mm. prescribe order your medications mm. you'll see but mm. we're the ones who know if it's helping us mm. then we have to report that's right. back yeah that's right so, and remember that medication safety standard that we were talking about last year yes yes so that that uh, medication safety stuff what, mm. what would that be about? It's about the standardised sort of, um, mm. yeah. It's like, you know, the, you aim to ensure that clinicians safely prescribe and dispense and administer the appropriate medicine. Okay. So like we were saying. Yeah. You know, yeah. We, we think we know sort of. And Lucy, you, you can't sort of... Mm. Mm. Yes. Uh, sorry for leaning over, Louisa, but I was just yes. trying oh, to, thanks for that. to make Lucy, you all... I needed to get that yes, down. to get you... Now, your where's that little thing? Um, oh, yes? Yeah, there yeah. we go. There you go. Yeah. It's about making sure... I know it's a good... You trust those professional health professionals and everything, mm. but it's a partnership, isn't it? It is. So you make sure that they're prescribing the right thing. Because I was just thinking, Louisa, sometimes, I remember you saying that before, sometimes there's, like, there's a change in your body the mm. way it is. Yes. And things that were, were okay are not okay anymore, I think, because of ageing and getting older. Yes. So even those changes, your clinician needs to know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you change your lifestyle. Yeah. See, yeah. and then you always, especially like with diabetic medications, yes. like you decide you're going to exercise, blah, blah, oh. blah, yeah. But make sure, <laughs> and, and we monitor the medicine use, yes. you know, always sort of checking yourself mm. and ensure that the consumers are informed about medicines. Yes, yes. And understand their own medicine needs and risks. Yeah. 
So you know. we do, don't you think, Christiana? We, well, I think, because we talk about it all the time. Yeah. And, and I don't, I don't think there's ever a time when, because I remember when you first started off. There's a lot of conversation mm. about this and abuse of medication and, you know, sort of people not understanding. That's why it's so important to keep this dialogue yeah. happening. That's right. You know, because we and people tend to forget. And as you said, mm. people's lifestyles change. So it's always good to have yeah. this on the table. Because eh? especially if you decide you're going to exercise, you know, mm. do all that, mm. and then you might need it. You might, you not know, need, might need extra strength. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, and that's why it's really good that, you know, you keep an eye on it and then yes. you do your test. Yeah. No. Or even, you know, like if, you know, I might need more because I'm not exercising yes. as much. <laughs> and or you feel yes. it's not really helping. Yes. Yes. Because you Well, they know tell. through my yeah. blood test. Let me tell you, my blood test, sometimes I when I visit my GP, I'll say, oh, that blood test telling fibs. Because <laughs> she'll say, keep an eye on this. I think you need to keep an eye on that. And I'm thinking... Mm. Anyway, yeah. good to have your regular blood tests too. That's it. Yeah. yeah, it's the only way they get, and also it's a, it's what we tell them. Yeah, they you know it's yeah. about our information that we sort of tell them about mm. how we are feeling since we started on those medications. Yes. Yeah. And remember, Sianne, like where to get help, like your GP, yes. your pharmacy always, are always good. Yes. You yes. Know that. And they usually print out a little information for you. Yes, they I do. mean the pharmacist. Yes. yes, yes. And the medicine line again is 1-1300-633-424. So that's medicine mm -hmm. line. And because those numbers, I was just thinking when you were reading out the medicine line, and we're talking about Australia, of course, Yes. that this... It, it can be really long, so just your pharmacist and your GP. With mm -hmm. us here, because our pharmacist is just down the road, it's a quick call, well, phone right. call. Because yeah. I can never remember which line. And I, I know I write things down, and then I can't remember where I've written it. So, And, and, so it's, the, and sometimes, we must admit, you know, those line, 24 hours sort of line, mm. sometimes they could be a little bit of a waiting wait. list. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah. you're better off using your own pharmacist. Yes. Yeah. I guess and they're the, really good because of, like, out of time, you know, out of business hours. Yes. Those are really important. Mm. So maybe, you know, because you're, you know, and I'm also talking to myself too, Louisa, is to have that medicine line or... On my fridge, maybe, you know, so that I can quickly go and have a look if mm. I need. Or our partners will yeah, yes. know where to go and look yes. for it. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes we put them where they, they get to look. <laughs> and also it's about the adverse medicine event, 1300 again. So what, what are they? Yeah. They're just the, the helplines, aren't they? Yeah, you know, yeah they Adverse are. medicine mm. event. Yes. Mm. Mm. And, and some of them... Are That's one I didn't know. Yeah, one yeah. of the main ones, the medicine, um, yeah, line, medicine line, yeah. I think they're not getting their funding. They they finish oh. in December. Oh no! Yeah, so um, yeah, we always have so to get the that, update. Sort of yeah, so there. is the adverse medicine line event? Is that the one that's the ongoing one that'll take over? You know, when medicine line finishes, so adverse medicine event will. Yeah, it's so still the same. I think. Mm. And also we have our own local yes. 24 hours, like, um, you know, help life health, sort of yes, thing. Health yes. Direct are uh, very good That's too. That's right, yes. Yeah. I use Health Direct a lot. Yes. Yeah. Well, I suppose we get used to it yes. in Canberra. <laughs> yes. And, and plus, I think they are very, they're a good service. Oh, they are, they're always there. They, yeah. they are. And if and if they think that you're going to wait a little bit, they'll, they'll say that they'll ring you back. Mm. And they do. Yeah. They always ring you back. Mm. And, and I think we feel safer somehow because we we know them. We know our services here locally in Canberra. Mm. And mm. Um, and they're very good. Oh, yes. I think. <laughs> I think we're very lucky. I though, think we so. are lucky. We've got, you know, we've got oh. a few, yeah. We are so well resourced here in Canberra. And I guess, you know, being the capital city of Australia, of course, it would be well. Yeah, so it has to be the Like best. any other capital city. Yeah. And, and we are, you know, in comparison to other states. And we've had 
you know, information from other people working in the state, and they say you are lucky there in Canberra. Mm. Mm. And I guess we are used to our own services here. We are. Yes. Yeah, so. Mm. Yes. After all those years that we've worked oh there, my gosh. <laughs> I don't think they've changed that much. They might change the phone number, but you you get one, and then yes. they'll put you onto the next. You know. Yeah. Because I was having service. a quick look through, this is a couple of months ago, at some of the phone numbers, and they're still the same. Yeah, still the same. My main service that I work for, they had changed, and I thought, why have you changed? You know, why have they but it, I don't know, it's just they change phone numbers. Is that Headspace? Uh, no. Or the women? DVCS, yeah. yes. Yeah. It, and they, and they um, I think they changed quite a while ago, but because I hadn't looked, I didn't realise the change. Oh. That they, yeah. Change some of the phone so it numbers. Pays to, yeah. yeah, it does. It pays to, you know, keep up to date with some of these numbers. Mm. So after all that little recap, mm. <laughs> I thought we might sort of uh, use metformin as like an example of oh, very good example. Bit, yeah, mm. thing, and we know what it is. Mm. Um, oh, what was I gonna say? Yeah. Yeah, because I thought it'd be a good idea just to have a little um, scenario, mm. you know, things that we're really used to. Mm. We've met forming. And, you know, you remember, Luciana, I, the reason why I was interested in uh, looking at metformin, because mm. I somehow had this little story that it was supposed to be like um, metformin is affecting your... Uh, I was getting a little bit forgetful at times, mm. but failed to sort of recognize that it could be the age. Mm, yes. So, you know, I thought, it, I tried to blame some of the medications that I was on, thinking mm. that could be, because I didn't want to face the well, reality that, yeah. um, you know, it, it might not be my old brain, but it could be medication, so yeah, wise. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So well, I well, guess as we're aging, we do tend to think, oh, why am I so forgetful? Is it? Is it unusual or is it due to something? So yeah. I think it's just a normal, you know, progression of age and, you know, the way we are. And, and, and sensory, so what happened to the little... overload thing, yeah. yeah. So, of course, we know metformin is an oral medication that usually prescribe. It's a first-line treatment yes. for most people, you know, with type 2 um, yes. diabetes. And it can also help prevent a de or delay the onset of a type 2 diabetes. Like, you know, sometimes when your blood sugar level is up, mm -hmm. but it's not high enough for you to qualify as a diabetic yeah. sort of client. Yeah. Yes. I think that's what they're, they're sort of referring to. Mm -hmm. uh, metformin can sort of prevent or delay the onset. Yeah. Yeah, also so I guess metformin is there at the first port of call when, <laughs> when your doctor is saying, hmm, a little bit high your mm. readings, start, you know, try this. And it's a, I guess it's a really good thing if we're honoured to know that we can reverse. Hey? Well, that's it. Yeah. yeah. With our lifestyle, yes. like our diet, our exercise and things. Yes. Yeah, and it's really good. Mm. Mm. So in the type 2 diabetes, Mm. Our pancreas still works, but not as effectively. So yeah. that leads to the body building up, you know, the insulin resistance. Yes. Yeah. And unable to effectively convert the glucose into energy, therefore leaving mm. too much sugar in our in blood. blood. Yeah. Mm. True, Louisa. So what does metformin do for what us? What does it do? Yeah. <laughs> It lowers our blood sugar glucose by yes. making the blood cells more sensitive to insulin. Mm. So it changes that because yes. the pancreas sort of, um, mm. you know, mm. it's with the um, insulin. Yes. But if it doesn't do that, it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. If then we have to help it. Well, that's right. So this is a little soldier. Yeah. A helpful soldier. Yeah. You know, so it makes yeah. Blood cells more sensitive to insulin. To insulin, mm. yeah, because mm. so it slows down the release of um, glucose stored in the liver. Very important. Yeah, yeah. So that's really good. Yeah, mm. and it slows the absorption of glucose from mm. food in our stomach. Yes. So it can hang around there for a little while longer yes. before you know gets absorbed mm. 
into the thing. So it does all those jobs that, you know. So we, what an Yeah, because our pancreas thing. sort of um, produce those, um, you know, those insulin yeah. thing, cells, yeah. that sort of fights the all that blood well, that yeah. glucose in the thing. So, yeah. Good old pancreas does all that, but sometimes it needs help. Well, that's it, mm. yeah. And so as well as medications type 2 diabetes can sometimes be initially managed through yes, Louisa, lifestyle. You're very good at doing that stuff. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. So modifications include a healthy diet. We're pretty good with that, Sarah. Yes. Yeah. I'd, 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 I should a little treat. Yes, I yes, I need to have less of those yes. little treat times and more of the healthy and regular exercise. So that's right, yeah. Regular exercise, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be one that's, you know, you're training to... Yeah, for the Olympics, the Olympics, the Olympics. Go or run. Yeah, it's just the soft, you know, the yes, little walk walks, and... Uh, little um, swim. Yeah, Lily, oh, you're good, you do the swimming. Oh, I haven't been for a while, Louisa. And, and those, what's those, Tai Chi, tai all those sort of oh, exercises. I, yeah, you know, I've been thinking exercises. about that. Yeah. And I know there's an older citizens group of Tai Chi in one, I think it's in the um, North Community Centre, North Side. Oh, and I was the going community to, that Dixon. Yes, yeah. and I was thinking, why don't I just, but you know, I... Sometimes it takes me a while to get from A to B. Yeah. I think about it for quite a while before I actually make the next step. I'm a bit of a slow coach. Mm. Same I'm, here. I'm part snail, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the... We enjoy that. Anyway. Yes. Your, your regular what about exercises. Our time of dance? What about that? Well, I think that is act, like active. It depends yes. on the hand actions and the body movement that you do. Because it is quite, you know, irregulated and, you know, controlled. Yes. And, you know, anything that's done like that does move. It, the movements are... I've really seen some exercise groups. Have you seen them? And it's about their hips, how they, they, they the wriggle there. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think it's a somber thing. Yeah. But I thought, but I wouldn't mind that because that's the area that... I like to get rid of, you know, just yeah. to decrease the You mean, length. yes, you mean mm. like something like the Tahitian and Hawaiian dance. Yes, yeah, have you seen those? Yeah, but like you say, it's, mm. so it's not, I watch, it's not really I don't exercise. Even, I can't even think of even attempting that. <laughs> <laughs> and also it says about monitoring your blood glucose level to see if your medication is working. Yeah, well, I think we're mm. pretty good with that, with mm. Yeah, yes. it's about your regular sort of um, yes. pathology test. Yes, yes. And I think I think we must be good because they they do advise us. You only need to have it done like mm. you know once a year. But then yes. I think I'm coming that up to the yeah. test soon. But it depends on your results of your test. Yes, yes. You know whether they can always send you to do your tests anyway. Mm. Because I have to get mine done once a year. Yes. That's what my doctor said. So that means you're pretty really good. Because sometimes yes. if I said I had it done, mm. you know, like in January, I said, yeah, let's just do it again and see yes. if we can, we can reduce your metformin. Yeah, I know a couple of years ago I had had it done and then a few months later, I think it's because I changed GP and she sent me off straight yeah. away to have another one done, even though she had all the... You know, so I guess it's, and you know, I mean, I have to be watched yeah. closely, Louisa. Yeah, we know that. We're watching each other yes. anyway. Yes. <laughs> We're pretty good at watching each other. Oh. <laughs> and remember those certain lifestyle mm -hmm. factors that can increase the risks of type yes. 2? Yes. All those naughty, like, being overweight. Overweight. And obese. And obese. Yes. Eating poor, poor diet, diet. Yeah. and it's you know I mean it's an ongoing dialogue with me and my GP and my specialist. You can always lose a little bit more, and I do take notice of it. I just need to put it into more action. Mm. You know, eating poor diet. Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> and I'm the looking, low level. I'm looking at you, engaging in low look. See, that's pretty good. 
low levels of activity, exercises. They're very gentle, mm. like what we were saying about Tai But they chi. say that that can increase the risk. So they want us to, in, in higher levels of activity? <laughs> That, that's that, that low I mean, levels mistake. of activity, the, I mean, the low levels. There. I think it was wishful thinking. Yes. Was there there? But, I mean, even say someone like me, Louisa, who's not very active, even that you is good for active. me. You are very active. Am I? Yeah. Oh. You never stop. Like walking around the house. <laughs> well, that, it's, that's activity. Yeah. Mm. You, you, you're not sort of sitting still. No. You know, that's what no. they're talking about. Yes. You're yes. very active, Louisa. I can tell you that, yeah. Well, yeah. So that was, I think that sounds a bit like me engaging in low levels of uh, Maybe activity. what they mean by that is when you sit a lot and, but that's you it. know, well, I like a little bit of sitting yeah. myself. But it's good to have my grandchildren around because there's not much so sitting. So you don't stop. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the side, the side effects of metformin. Mm. So that's really important about medications that we have to be aware of what the side effects mm. are. Yes. So yes. that if you don't see your doctor on a regular basis, mm. you know, you can monitor yourself, isn't it? So commonly digestive problems, like diarrhea, <laughs> little and stomach upset. Yes, usually something yes. to do with uh, your your digestion. A little bit of wind. Yeah, yes. that's right. And stomach upset. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Wind sounds a bit better than that. Mm. Yes, and vitamin B twelve. Vitamin yes. B twelve. Yes. Yeah. Deficiency. And that actually can be picked up with, with, with your blood test. Yes. You know. Yes. Because they'll tell you, oh, a bit of low on vitamin B twelve. You know, so. Yes, mm. that's right. And also, like, um, if you don't, if you, if it's not that serious, you don't need to sort of um, take the vitamin B twelve, and then you can sort of really can eat your fish, your meat, yes, you know, the egg. I know those, because I've yeah. heard people yeah. that have had to have the injection because they had because it's depleted. a bit more serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. depleted. I think, oh my gosh. That is that is yeah. you know serious to be that depleted that you have that's to have right. an injection. Yeah. Yeah, and that's pretty. Yes, that's hardcore. Yeah, mm. that's hardcore. Yeah, so that's yeah the vitamin B twelve, mm. and that's easily fixed mm. because you can either do it, and you can always get the supplement. Yeah, your vitamin B twelve. I guess if you know, I guess if you're not, as you said before, Louisa, if you if your diet's not good, because most of these things are in the food that you eat. So if you're not eating the right foods or you're not eating veggies or meat or whatever, and if you're vegetarian or vegan, there's other things you need to yeah. eat more of. And, but it's so good to be, you know, vigilant about checking. Because mm. eh? if you start to feel a little bit yeah, lethargic. Right, yeah. and a bit tired, yes. all the tired sort of... Uh, yeah. Those are good hints to have. That's right. Apart from being, you know, getting older. So it's like that, the weakness, you know, the shortness of breath. Mm. And, and nerve damage, usually with the, I think I've had a little thing of that, the nerve mm. damage, you know, when you've got, uh, you have sciatica, but it sort of affects yeah. some of the things down the, oh, and there's so many the things, of Louisa, the, you yeah. know, to be, you know, when you look at some of the, you know, things that you need to look out for, and there's so many things you need, but which is what and which is what. I think the best way to do is just go to your doctor. Well, that's it. Go to your doctor yeah. and get them to check. Because, you know, say, oh, but I do have that sometimes, and I do have that sometimes. Does that mean I have this? Mm. One way to check properly, go to your doctor. Well, that's it. Mm. Yeah. And, of course, we were talking about that the other day, the lactic acidosis. Oh, The yes. build-up of lactic that's a pretty acid serious in the blood. thing. That's, eh? Yeah, that's the serious one. Mm. But you know, some people they say people who are training with sports and that yes. they can get that that from Absolutely. their training yeah. from their muscles yes, and, and that right. stuff. Yes, yeah. yes, the muscle ache. Like, but I guess in the burning, yeah. the if it if it stays, eh? if that if it's not just because you've run ten miles or whatever or swam five thousand yeah. you know meters, 
But if it's if it stays with you like the lactic acidosis, if it's like that for quite a while, you need it checked. Yeah, you need to get it checked mm. and followed up. Because yeah. it is serious. And that rapid it? breathing and stomach pain. Mm. It's mm. too much as it builds up in the bloodstream. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that is an emergency thing that you take mm. off to the yes. to your doctor, get the test done and yeah. Mm. And the risk for this is high among people with significant kidney problems. Okay. So that's why the doctors avoid sort of um, giving it to them. Mm. So what do they have? They have a different. Oh, because they obviously. have other diabetic um, yes. yeah, medications. Yes, of course, of course. There's a lot of them around. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But well, I guess this is so. This is why metformin is so good because it, it's good for lots and lots of people. But you know, like. If there is significant problems, kidney problems, then they look at a yeah. different treatment of you. Mm. Well, like and like I said to you, understand? I was tempted to look at metformin, yeah. you know, because I thought it had something to do with your um, your mental health. You know, I mean your memory. So and then, then yeah. you know, it's like maybe prolonged taking of the metformin might do that. Yeah. But it doesn't, does it? It doesn't. Yes. And plus, you always have a test anyway. Yes. Yeah, your yeah. GP will sort of do the test. Well, well, that's because I can never here. remember where I put my phone yeah. down. Yeah. It, it's not because I take metformin. There's another reason for that. Mm. You know, forgetfulness can be just a bit of stress, tiredness. You know, well, it's good, but look at what metformin does. Yes, it's the other way around. I was so happy to sort of see that. Yeah, yeah. And there's that big study that they did mm. at mm. Um, the Carbon Institute of Medical yes. Research. Yeah, that was a six-year study. That's a lot of study. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a long sort of uh, yeah. So study obviously, like. it's really important study. Yeah, you know. that's right. And they're saying that they did that with the older. Um, Australians, I mean, yes, in, that was in Australia, mm. yeah, with type 2. And they uncovered the link between metformin use and it slows down that cognitive. Oh, how thing. nice! How nice is that? How nice! Yeah. So that slows it down. It's the other way around. Because it was your worry, wasn't it? Yeah, that's mm. it. Mm. But I was really happy. It must have been in the mind because when yeah. I saw that, I said, Why is that? So it slows mm -hmm. down that cognitive decline, Lucy, mm -hmm. and lower dementia rate than those who didn't. That study sort of showed that. Mm -hmm. It sort of, it was a lot slower than the rate, mm -hmm. than those who didn't use metformin. Wow. It's, um, That's great yeah. information. And that was a big study. There were other studies done, but I, I quite like this one yes because it was led by researchers at Gavin Institute mm. of Medical Research mm. and the Center for Healthy Brain Aging yes at the University of we New like South the Wales healthy brain yeah. and aging yes <laughs> we like knowing about that that we and are and that was healthy. published in the journal like diabetes care mm. I, I I didn't get the date of that but mm. they said they had a me uh, the study was supported by Australia National mm. Health and Medical Research Council. Yes. So, I remember. See, that's why we're so, you know, proactive. Mm. I think Australia is really proactive in research. Yeah, with those research. That and sort of and when, the, when the COVID started, I remember that a lot of our institutes were into that yeah. really quickly, mm. you know. So we are lucky in this country that we, you know, that our research is up to date and information is up to date, you know, especially with this metformin. Mm. There's up to date information yeah. straight away about how good, how bad, what to look out for, you know. I didn't seven. go into those ones that they've done in America and all mm. that. Because oh, I, I thought we're just sort of stay in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> We've been there, done it. <laughs> and they did say while an observational study does not provide conclusive proof mm. that metformin is protective against dementia, mm. it does encourage them mm. to study this and other di anti-diabetic treatment for dementia prevention. Yes. Yeah, so the question is whether f metformin is helpful in those... Oh, see, it's the, all that study was done with people like who were on metformin. Mm, mm, so mm. they're thinking of doing the study for people, you know, just a normal glucose um, yeah. met metabolism. metabolism. Yeah. I guess so, because of course they'll be studying people who take it. 
you know. Yeah. And and you know when you said there's you know that it, it is people who've taken it and how helpful is it with you know people's normal glucose. I, I don't know whether if it's yeah, if it's, it's they wouldn't be using it if they had normal glucose metabolism, would they? Why no, would that be useful? No. Uh, well, they do use metformin for other things mm. too. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like I think I know that they did use it for like young women whose menstrual period were not regular. Okay. Yeah, they yeah. used it for that and yes. polycystic um, thingy. Rosiane. Um, See, so, so metformin is a clever little pill, <laughs> you know, it not only looks at, you know, you know, metabolizing your glucose levels and that sort of stuff, so it's good they do it for that too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then it's also, I think they're saying, you know, dementia prevention, it's not really a, you know, you can't say that this no, will totally yeah, yeah. prevent yeah. dementia, they're just saying that it slows it down. It slows right? it down, yeah, that's what, yeah. Hope for us, Louisa. It's, but it's a big percentage, like it's about 30%. Yeah, it helps it slow it down. Yeah. That's a lot. But they've know? only done that, that study, with like um, about 70 to 90 years old. Okay. You know, eight years old. And also, they that's think useful. It, yeah. Very useful. Yes. Oh, I do like metformin. <laughs> I think I'm a fan of metformin now because it does various yeah. things. And, and they do say that it's, um, it's a cheaper sort of, um, you know, treatment. Option. Yeah. 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 Sort yeah. of thing. And, um, and it works. That's the thing, Louisa. It works, you know. I mean, we've, we've both been, you know, on the entry, entry to, you know, diabetes. And so... I know, and I know that you have messaged yours pre-diabetic. With, with pre, yeah. yeah, and you are very pre, <laughs> more pre than me. <laughs> I need to get to 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 your pre, you know. <laughs> the thing is, Lucy, when they reduce your medications, you know, you sort of keep listening to your body, and mm. the slightest little difference, you think, uh oh, oh, maybe mm. I wasn't supposed to get that reduced too, so doesn't it? Yes. It makes you sort of think again. That's right. Yeah, but it's about the exercises and... Um, yes, yeah. all of that. All of that. We must but be getting close to the end of our um, program, but this is yeah. such a mouthful, This all this information, and I know it's... I know you've done so much work in this, Louisa, and, um, you know, and every time you talk, I pick up something that mm. um, I haven't picked up before or I haven't remembered before. Yeah. So I think it's good to keep doing it. You know how you said so, there's lots of conversation. Because they keep coming out with different things. Exactly. Yeah. And so like I said, I was quite surprised when they said that they used metformin like for treatment. Yes. yes. Great. And I know that there are that lots of medications. Yes. Um, yes, absolutely. Thing. Yeah. But it is, you know, if it's that helpful um, and... I think we've got about 15 minutes left of this. That's a long time. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah, sort of thing. But but when we when we when we get when we get tired we'll just finish off and hopefully hopefully that that's the end of that. But it has been I think this session has been a lot more informing too. You know, yes. there's because there's so much information that you've talked about Louisa and you know if you know if you're watching today you just replay this program and you'll find all the things that Louise has brought to us today for and us to think a about. Just a reminder too, because yes. like I said to you, you know, that reminding. pharmacies in the state, um, you know, was talking about exactly the same things that yes. we're talking about. So yeah. I thought, it's, it, you know, it's everywhere. It's it's nice to hear, you know, that it's got a good. Um, yeah. And it's good for our communities worldwide you know, especially our Pacific Island communities worldwide, because there's a very high rate of diabetes and heart it's problems. And, and, yes. and, and for us to really, you know, to really take notice and, you know, of this and of all the information, because it's absolutely important for us to take notice and not to just say, oh, well, I'll just keep eating my sipi and my kapapulu and palusami and all that, it will be all right. And it's good. Those yes. things are good to have.
But you can cut it down to you have it. You can cut it down. Yes. yes. And also not, to like give you a little, of a little trick. Yeah. Absolutely. Especially if you're, if you're tested, you know, oh, continue yes. to be quite good. People like yeah. me. People yeah. like me need to be very, very careful yeah. and and be on top of things and remember when you're coming with the reminders to take notice of the reminders, mm. you know. Because I, I think, Louisa, when you're saying that there's been a lot of uh, programs lately about cert about this stuff, I think it's good. I think it's I think great. it's good. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, I was quite surprised, even when I went overseas, like to Tonga, I was quite surprised at how many people, or well, I thought it was just in Canberra, but then how many people were on metformin. Yes. 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 So it's a worldwide thing, and, and as we talked about, yeah, there's a, a lot and, of people. And, and it's a lifestyle yes. one. Yes. And with, of course, um, you know, type 2, mm -hmm. you don't sort of develop that till you get to that older age. You know, and it, and it sort of sets in quite slowly, mm. like with type 1. You know what, Louisa, I was just thinking because you brought up, you're talking about when you went to Tonga, and we both miss our trips to Tonga. Mm. But you know when I go to Tonga, I really, for some reason, everything drops. And and I know it's because of the diet. That's I know right. it's because of what I eat And you there. do, you two yes. sort of have really good diet yes. over there. And I keep saying to myself, if I can do it in Doma, why don't yeah. I do it here? It's just that you don't have the fresh green coconut here, and the, you know. And it and it's about like here with all the biscuits and all those, um, mm. um, the, yeah, all those additives that we're supposed to have. Yeah. Yes, and true. I think, and I think, and the bread. Yeah, and and it's about that's right. Carbohydrates yeah. is oh. the biggest challenge. You know, especially when they have nice bread yes. here, fresh bread and... I mean, in Tonga, we do have Kauli's bread, but we have it maybe once a week. Yeah, and we don't... Here... Yes, here my talking to... See, you've made me talk about my problems of eating too much <laughs> bread and not enough this and not enough that. But it is... I'm so glad that you've decided to bring this up, Louisa, because it's so important. Hey? for us mm. important for us to keep because we know that the rate of dying and you know people being in ho hospitalized and having other problems having kidney problems and whatever because of diabetes and well, that's right. keeping an yeah. eye on it and we've Look got this clever little pill that's a that that'll help if you help it you know and that i think sometimes we because i know sometimes we hear people say I get to fall of a cow, you know. You can have your pill. Mm. You can do that and just have your pill. It doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't. You know, it doesn't fix your wrongs. It just tries to do what it's supposed to do, and you're supposed to fix the things. Hey? You're supposed to change. I'm. I'm still very excited about that. You know, because I was really worried about oh, the. Gosh, yes, absolutely. So slow the cold, yes. decline. Isn't, it, it isn't that amazing how when you read the the solid evidence there, yeah. it fixes your mind as well? It does. Yes. It does because sir. I'm like that, Louisa. If I'm worried about something and I have a look at what they're saying, you know, certain, because I follow certain institutions who do mm -hmm. certain, you know, investigation into but things. As soon as I see something that I just think, oh, thank goodness. Yes. Okay? And I know we've been worried about this thing about the cognitive decline and the <laughs> dementia rate and Alzheimer's and all that. And look at it. Metformin. Look at it. We've got the right yes. thing to sort of uh, slow that down. Yes. But you know you mentioned like your diet. Yes. You and Prof, Professor mm. Lafdani eat in Tonga. Yes. You know, you get all those fresh fruit and stuff when I've been at your place like for breakfast yes you know and you've got your poor poor mm. you've got this other stuff but I yeah. think here is about the um what's the word I'm trying to think of Rosanne? when you don't you know without the additives and all that because I know the brain keeps look I'm not allowed to eat that because yes. it's got yeah it's got all sorts of additives yeah. in it in it because in Tonga it comes straight off the tree Hey, it's fresh. You just get your paw paw, you go down the road and you go to Kolmodo or you go to Vaini and get paw paw or the market. Mm. 
and you've got bananas off the tree. You know, and it is, it, it's no additives, it's organic, hey? That, well, that's totally, it. Yeah, totally, totally organic. Totally organic. It's And our food, you know, I think that's why we're so healthy in Tonga. Yeah. And also, too, Louisa, it's mindset. When I'm in Tonga, my brain functions differently. Mm. I'm relaxed and I'm happy and, you know. And you no. try to stay away from the hospital. So yes. <laughs> Whereas here, you, you know that help is right there. Yes, you know, you I have know. the slightest little wit and I said, oh, I better Ooh. go and see the yes. my GP and see what he says. Yes. And do you know what I like about our family doctors here? Is there mm -hmm. They listen to you. Oh, they do. Yeah. They ask you a question and they listen to you and they, and, yes. and they believe you. Yes. Because I, I was saying, oh, yes, but I don't do, maybe I'm not exercising enough, but then mm. I do this. Yes. And they said, that's good. Keep that up. Absolutely. Yeah. And and I think when we started visiting um, Tonga, mm. we, one of the first things that I made sure I looked for was a good GP. Yes. And they do have good GPs there. And, and that's who we go to visit, our our local GP in Tonga, where, you know, when we need to go. And luckily, we, we go well supplied mm -hmm. with our medication. Well, if you're visiting overseas, <laughs> <laughs> make sure you take your, when you're traveling, mm -hmm. very important to make sure you take all your medication, store it properly, you know, airtight, whatever, because we know what our beautiful little island is. It is. It's very hot, it's humid. So make sure you take your medication, like you said, Louisa. Mm. Make sure it's stored safe. And also, the weather is different, yes. and, you, and your it's lifestyle so changes. Yeah. You yeah. Know, so that's really interesting, sort of bringing up those, mm. you know, the lifestyle sort of changing. Because, you know, it's funny when you, I was just thinking of when I go through customs and I've got all my bags and they're looking and I'm saying, it's medication. <laughs> <laughs> they look and they think, all that is medication <laughs> because other people would probably lie if they think that you <laughs> well they've had to open it but now i think they know that, mm. yeah, that i'm not you know telling fibs but yeah just make sure and and now that the you know travel is open to people please be careful that's right take your medication unless louisa said what was that little list that you you know make sure it's stored properly Right temperature. Yeah, right temperature. Tonga is very same hot. Time. Yes, yes. Yeah. You yeah. know what's really good? We have the, you know, those little um, eskies, the small ones. Oh, yeah. That's our medication. Some of the stuff that you need to keep cool, it stays in there on our trip. Oh, right. And you can just yeah, carry right it on through. board. Yeah. yeah, it's like carry on luggage. And because it's medication, they let you take that on well, board. That's right. Yeah. yeah. They Was don't want you to be sick in a plane because no. they have to. But also yeah, too, to because there's, you. you know, if say injecting or whatever, there are certain things that you have to keep cool, you know, on your trip back. So really, really important what Louisa brought up before about how to store, yes. you know, what was it, the five, the, the, the f those really important things that you read out before, you know, the right, the, the, the right, rights. the right, yeah, the, the right, right route. Yeah. So isn't the right route the way you? What was it again? Yeah. See, um, yeah. Whether you swallow them or yes. whether you're injecting yourself. <laughs> That's the root. Yeah. And <laughs> like with metformin, you always sort of take it like with either your meal or straight yes. after. All those And don't things. double up. If yes. you forget, don't take double. Because I know it. that some people do yeah. that. You know, if, if they forget, they oh, I'll just take double. Don't do that. Because you, you get know, all high dose, yes, yeah. yes, high dose, and then that's just as bad. Not good, yeah. not good. You don't want to go on holiday and be high dose and mm. enjoy your holiday. Mm. And just sort of being mindful to remind our listeners, like you know, it's nice to have the information here, Absolutely. but then you always listen to your doctors first. Yes, yes. I was just thinking you said also, those four women were saying yes. <laughs> But I was thinking the first one of the five rights is the right patient. Yes. I know that in Tonga sometimes we share medication. You know, say, I may have for Panatolo because I thought you whatever. Yes. Be careful share it because you might be sharing something that might not be right mm. for the other patient. So be very be very aware of the five rights. Your, That's right. Your five rights is really important, Louisa. The right patient, the right drug. 
the right dose, the right route yeah. or route. Brook. Yes. Brook, yeah. The right time. Yeah, the right mm. time. Make sure you take it at the same time every day. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. Absolutely. Because usually like it's a twelve hours or the eight yes. hours in between. Yes. Yeah. And that's important because it takes time for it to metabolize in your body, you know. Yeah. So Louisa, is there anything else you want to um inform no, us or remind I think, us i think the most important thing is about the safety with the medications mm. both prescribed medications or even and even over the counter mm. you know mm. once which includes vitamins and herbal and yes. supplements supplements yeah because sometimes supplements. they could um interact with your medications that's right so always check with your doctor that's right yes i i have a habit of just googling it you mm. see but then yes. when i get to the doctor i always say i think you need to do this because i've you know <laughs> but i think they listen to you because mm. we're the ones that sort of know the effects of our medicine mm. yes. and that the doctors will have to get the the story right i know to be how able to, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah. because that's happened to me before when they had to change one of my medications and I was quite ill when I took it, you know, so they had to change it straight away. But that's it, they won't know unless you know well, that's yourself right. and you keep an eye on it and then you tell them, no, this is what's happened. I can't get out of bed or I have get headaches or I'm nauseous, you know. So, so important when you do new medications. Uh, and they do sort of mention like people who go into hospital you know, if you've been in hospital and if you're discharged, you know, how they give you your medications to always make sure because like what we were talking about, brand names and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. you know, you think, oh, no, that's not the one I always take. And then you might end up taking both, yes. not realizing it's, it's the same. same. It's the same oh, one. Gosh, yes. And when you're in doubt, always yes. check with that's the people right. who know. Yeah, that's right. Well... Thank you yes. so much, Louisa, and thank you very much, everyone who's who's um, here with us or watching us today. Mm -hmm. Thank you for such a well, you know, it's so well informed and well researched, as usual with um, Louisa. Well, and my 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 boss here always <laughs> said, "Now make sure your your information is up to date." <laughs> and, it, and it is. It can't it's have anybody taking absolutely. us. <laughs> All the way, all the way from the Garvin Institute, yeah. you know, so it's very up to date in the last year or so. But um, I think the next program, Louisa, for Women in Dialogue, will that be in uh, Malangi or English or, yeah, next month or mm -hmm. in Tongan? Are we going to the, to the, to a Tongan program? Yeah, but to talk let's about do it. Metformin? Yeah. Because it's... The information is just yeah. unbelievable. And even though most of us speak both languages or, you know, English, I think it's still important for us to do it in Tongan. So the next mm -hmm. program, everyone, if you're looking forward to the next program, we are. I <laughs> am always looking forward to a program with Louisa. We'll be in our mother language, Tongan. So once really again, nice challenge. And yes. also remember that most of the things we talk about, like, we just based in Australia and um, yeah, ACT and Canberra. Yes. Yeah, the services I mean. Oh, yeah, the services, then, beautiful services. I'm sure they have similar services in wherever they, they live. Yeah. Yes, they do. And as as we just said before, wherever you are, if you need to ask a question, ask your GP. Yes. Or your pharmacist. Or pharmacist. Or, you know, there are but, always people you could ask. Yeah. Don't guess. Don't do guesswork to do with your health. That's not Although listen to your friends what they tell you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Only listen to your friend if they're experienced yes, like right. Louisa. If they know. get information from the <laughs> horse's mouth. <laughs> I do ask Louisa because I know she's been there and done it for so many years. But We've been you know, there, both of yeah. us. But like I say, always check with your doctors anyway. Absolutely. Yeah, your family doctor. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And always remind your family doctors. Sometimes they do forget. Yes. Yes. Little yes. Things. Yeah. You know, you know, your family doctor. They do make mistakes. They are not mm. heavenly beings. They are human, and humans make mistakes. Yes. So just make sure you let them know, remind them. You know, 
um, it's it's always nice when you have a really good family doctor mm. who knows you, knows your history, remembers your story. Hey, that's right. Yeah, but and you remind them. So you would, didn't you say last time? They say, oh, at least they listen. Yes, <laughs> yes, true. Yes. So oh. once again, thank you, Louisa. Have a good week, everyone. Yes, everyone, and do stay safe. Look That's after right. yourselves, you know, if you start to feel a little bit unwell. You know, COVID is still around, the flu mm -hmm. is still around, and so many other things. Look after yourselves and stay We safe. still wear our masks. Absolutely. Yes. I'm, I went out this morning to the shop and I had my mask on. Yes. And even though it was... I wear my mask all the time. Absolutely. So. We do. We do. So um, if we see you around anywhere, say hello. But thank you again for watching, yeah. my lord. My lord. Hey, hey, hey. I'm a mother boy. Hey, hey, hey. hey.